Hello and welcome to NewMPM.com. Today we are going to see how to get the ITTOs down. First of all, what is people saying? As you probably know, everyone who subscribes to our site uh, live after the exam feedback. This feedback, we are sharing it with our students and lately we see a lot, a lot, a lot of comments about ITTOs. That's why we decided to make this video blog. Based on our experience, this means my experience, our student experience, and my colleague's experience, the CAPM exam consists of basically is the ITTO, the 40%, the second one is the PMBAT, and here we mean general knowledge of project management, uh, 40%, and 20% about formulas, like the one you see in course management. There are a lot of professors on the web that are saying uh, ITTOs, you don't need to memorize them, you need to understand them. And I wanted to bring up this question here. Project documents updates, it's an output for which process? Close project, acquire project team, control procurement, define activity. I would say, for instance, close project. Uh, once you close a project, there are a lot of updates that need to be done. Also, would be when you are acquire a project team, you also need to update the documents because you are getting uh, new people within the team. But let's see the answer. This is what I wanted to show you. Why to memorize? First of all, to save time, and second, to increase the chances of success. So then, how to memorize the ITTOs? How to make it easy? I'm going to share this because this is what I did and it worked for me. So I hope you can use it. If you don't agree and you want to understand all the ITTOs, that's fine. I understand them as well and you need to understand them. But if you understand and you memorize them, you will have an extra help at the moment of the exam. Well, first of all, you need to have a list with all the ITTOs. If you don't have any, we have developed it one so you can email us at info at newmpm.com and we will send you one. And second, I need you to grab just a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen. I was writing down all the ITTOs from the beginning. As you see here, I started by develop project charter and I started with the inputs. I wrote, it, I wrote down all the inputs, statement of war, business case and others. And then I went to uh, tools and techniques and I started with expert judgment and then I wrote meetings. So if you have already revised this topic, meetings is not the correct answer. So every time I was getting a wrong answer, when I was, write, I was writing down, I was starting from the beginning. So again, and the thing was that I was not writing down the full word. For instance, here you see the blog project charter uh, I'm not writing the full word because it's not necessary. I just needed to remember the word and this was helping me to know uh, the correct order. And as you see, the second time I wrote down, okay, I changed meetings by facilitation techniques. So this means I can now write down the outputs until I get uh, mistakes. I was writing down a process. At the end of the process, I was checking it. If the process was okay, I moved forward to the next process. If it was not okay, I was starting from the beginning. I think this, depending on your capacities, this will take you around one weekend to memorize them all using this way. You will spend a few hours memorizing this, but, but believe me, but during the exam, you will see the difference because you will not hesitate and you will have more time to focus on the questions related to formula and general knowledge. As always, Thank you for watching.